Hello guys, welcome to Retabase Migration Tutorial. My name is Murtuza and today I am going to show you how to migrate databases from MySQL to SQL Server 2014. Now migrating databases is not something that you normally do and chances are that you might uh, never need to do this but like me if you have had enough with MySQL and uh, want to move on to SQL Server this is how you do it. Now for migrating data with is SQL Server, Microsoft has provided this elegant tool called uh, SQL Server Migration Assistant for MySQL. You can look it up on Google or you can uh, click on the link that I have provided in the description. It will take you to its official site. Okay, here it is and uh, click on download. Click on this first file as you don't need this second file for now. Click on next and in few seconds the downloading will be started. Now I will skip this step because uh, I already downloaded the file. So guys when the downloading is done you will get this file SSMA for MySQL. Just double click on it. Click on next and here you will get a prompt that uh, setup is unable to find. SQL, MySQL, ODBC driver or above. You can install it from MySQL product media or download it from MySQL website. So just click on download and it will redirect to its official site. Here it is. Just look for uh, here, here it is. MySQL connector. Okay, here it is. Connector ODBC. Okay, so mine is 64 bit, so I will download this file. Okay, no thanks, just start my download. Okay, in few minutes, my downloading will be started. And when your downloading is done, uh, you will get this file. Okay, I'll cancel it. The downloading is done, you will get this file MySQL connector. Just click on next and install it. Okay, I will go to custom. Actually, it doesn't matter. Click on next. Install. Okay, when your downloading is finished, just go back once, and then click on next. Next. Just accept it. Next. No. Next. Uh, complete. No, I will just go with typical. So. So see, you can see here your product is installed. Click on finish. Okay, so now let's move on to migrating database. First, I will show you the database that I want to migrate from MySQL. So here's the database named the tutorial uh, with three tables, student group, master, and queries. I want to uh, migrate this database to my MySQL server here. There are already database names Spandan and Spandan2 which I already migrated from my uh, from my SQL server. So now let's start uh, server migration. So here first you need to create a project. Create a tutorial. the project is created. Now first you need to connect to MySQL. Okay, if the provider is MySQL ODBC uh, which we just installed. My server name is localhost. Server port uh, is 306. Username is root and I will leave this field empty because I don't have password. Click on connect. Okay, so it is connecting to database. So here it is. As you can see, uh, it is already showing my database that is MySQL, NFP, Performance, Pandemus, Pandemus 2, and here is tutorial the, the database that you want to transfer. Let's expand databases. Okay, so here is our database. And tables. Okay, so first step done. Now, uh, just click on tutorial. 
and then click on table just click here on create report so basically what it does is it tells you that uh, what percent of your data is not corrupted and can be easily transferred so there is no problem in my table all the data all of my data are 100% completed sorry converted so i can uh, move ahead so your non corrupted data will be shown in bold uh, as you can see here student student uh, student group student master and student queries okay so first step is done Okay, so now let's connect to the SQL Server. Click on Connect. Click on Continue. Okay, so it was successfully connected. Expand to Databases. Okay, as uh, you can see, all of my databases are here. Except the table, not to your database. Let me go to Transfer. Now, in order to transfer your data, first you need your databases and tables to be created in SQL Server. For that, click on Tutorial and just click on uh, Convert Schema. Okay, so guys, as you can see, our database name Tutorials has been created in SQL Server. Let's check uh, if we have our tables. Okay, so we have our tables: Student Group, Master, and Queries. So now, what is left? is to migrate the data but before migrating we need to establish a synchronization between them so let's click on tutorial or this tutorial already been clicked go to tools synchronize with database expand this expand this ok so we need to synchronize this table to this database Okay, synchronization operation is completed. Okay, so now what you need to do is just click on migrate data. Just click on connect again. Click on connect again. Okay, all of our data has been successfully migrated. Click on close. And we are done. Guys, look at this output table which says that three tables successfully copied, zero tables partially migrated, and uh, zero tables failed to operate, which basically means that everything went fine. So now let's cross check uh, it with the uh, SQL Server. And uh, ha, here it is. The database name tutorial has been successfully created here. Now let's check uh, our tables. Okay, our tables are here. Now let's check if it has values. So I'll select top 10,000 rows. So it has values. Now let's cross check this data with my MySQL data. So I'll open my local host. I'll go to PHP My Admin. Okay. Tutorial. Student Master. Okay, you can, uh, as you can see, both the data are same. So everything went fine, and uh, our database was successfully replicated to SQL Server. So guys, thank you for watching. If you find this tutorial helpful, please click on like. Thank you.